This is going to be a demo on some of the AFINE transitions in Caden Live. I have set up several video tracks, 12 video tracks, with some color clips. You can use anything you want and, and a large number of title, title clips. Each offset by five seconds. The first thing is a fine transition. Let's go to it. And you can change the opacity and by dragging you can change the position and size and various other things which will show. The center center, center. Now I want this up a little bit. Up is minus 68. Now that transition's applied. Now let's go to the next transition. This will be a fade. But notice the fade doesn't show on the screen. That's because the width track. It's important. I want it to go to track video 11. So you can see video 11 now it has this 10 parentheses so the video is off by one from what's in parentheses. Now that it's set to go to track 11 which is the blue clip we can now see it completely. Before we could only see what was on the A fine transition. But I want to fade. So to do that, I'll set, I'll move it to the position that I want it to be at in the end. Then I will add, move the timeline to five seconds relative to the start of this transition. <clears throat> and I'll add a keyframe point. That'll persist all the way to the end of the transition. I go back to the first transition and I want to set its opacity to zero. So you can see it's not there and we play for five seconds and as it moves to the other keyframe it comes in. Let's go to the next track. Again, it shows over the last track because it's a fine down to that track, but we want it down to track 11. Now we see it, and we want to add again 500 zero, zero, a new keyframe at five seconds. The keyframe is the diamond, and where we are is the triangle. You can move between keyframes with the forward and back. And if there's no keyframes, it'll go to the end. So you can add a keyframe at the end of the clip. Now in this case, we just want the first keyframe to be off the screen. Do the second keyframe, put it up about where we want it. Anywhere in the yellow will grab the grab the keyframe. In the yellow and the, the red are the position points. So we're back to the beginning and we can play this. So you can see what's happening. You go to the next A fine transition. Again, we want to be able to see it, so we go down to video 11. And to the start. Again, we'll push it over to where we want it. To end up with, add a new keyframe, 
again at five seconds. Go back to the first frame and we'll scale it down. I scale it to 1%. Notice it scaled way up off the screen. We can bring it back onto the screen with the center buttons. And put it in the same position. And hit play. And you can see it zooms in. Next transition I want is rotate. I've already set up where I want it to be, and I'm just going to add the transitions. So we've got rotate X, rotate Y, and rotate Z. You, the maximum you can enter, though, is 999, and it's in tenths of a degree. So when I enter that, it's just past vertical. When I play, then you can see rotate X. Rotate Y is already set up. And rotate Z. Now you can actually get a fairly similar effect. I'll show by going to the rotate Z. And we'll go to the start of that. Then I'll go down to the original title, add a keyframe there, and add a keyframe five seconds later, and on the first keyframe I'm going to check this distort box and then make the width one, and center. Now when I hit play, you can see a very similar effect to the Rotate Z. I'm going to take those back out, since I don't want them in the final product. And what's left? Shear. Go to the start of the shear and hit 30. You can see shear is italic, but if we go to the next keyframe, it's still there. Actually, this fix means it's fixed shear. It doesn't keyframe. So we can see shear X and likewise. Let's go shear y, or shear x, shear y, 10. And shear z. I haven't seen where shear z does anything. Okay, now I want another transition. I want to add an affine transition. So to add a transition, easiest thing is to click this triangle. But the default transition I have is a dissolve. And again, what I want is an affine transition. Now we're going to go to the out point and I'll add a transition there and let's add several effects because they all work a fade and a scale 10% Center. Go back to the beginning. And play. 
can see that the affine transitions are additive and it adds. So everything to the prior frame was corrected. And one more transition. I want it to be the whole clip here. But I'm going to use a composite transition and a white file for the burst. And let's soften it a little bit with a 20. Begin. This transition also needs is controlled by the opacity. So we put a keyframe at the beginning and set its opacity to zero and a keyframe at the end and set its opacity to 100%. And we can show this effect. Combined. Now we render. And this is the result of various transitions.